Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle news update. It is with a heavy heart and a sad note that I have to report that a good friend and an iron brother has passed yet again. Um, Rick Drayson, who's probably best known for his uh, logo that he drew of the Gold's Gym guy holding that bar, like with the bar bent, the bald head. He also drew the World Gym logo as well. Uh, that's, that's how a lot of people know, but he also had a very popular YouTube channel where he interviewed people. He used to come on RX Muscle all the time. He portrayed the Demi Hulk in the ori original Incredible Hulk uh, series. If you guys ever watched that, you know, that, that was my childhood. There was an episode where the Hulk couldn't transition between Bruce Banner and the Hulk, and he got stuck like halfway through. Rick played that part. He was in a lot of commercials. He was a, a professional wrestler. He was probably, you know, uh, you know, if you, if, it's funny because a lot of people don't recognize him from when he was younger because he had a full head of hair and then later in life he shaved his head and uh, Rick was just one of these good guys. But you know what? I knew him more as an artist. He was an, such an artistic guy. He used to edit his own videos. I mean, he was, the, guy, the guy, you know, was in his 70s and he was editing his own videos for YouTube and had a very popular channel, right? And I was working with him and helping him promote that channel right when he started it, like, like over 10 years ago. So this was a guy who just had art coming out of his fingertips. He drew an original Gold's Gym caricature for me that was not the Gold's Gym logo, and he signed it. I'm going to put up a picture. I have it hanging in my, uh, in my office. And I have to believe that it's, uh, it's probably worth something now because now... That, you know, when people pass away, everything becomes worth more. But you know what? To me, I would never let it go. It's worth a million dollars to me, that thing, because it was drawn exclusively for me. It was, there's not another one like that anywhere. And it was uh, signed by him. And uh, it meant a lot to me when he sent it to me because I knew he put a lot of love in that. But Rick was just art, super artistic. He, it, it, was, it was amazing what this guy can draw. I mean, he, he could look at something and just and, and make a character. He actually uh, did a great character. I had just put on my Instagram recently of the whole Gold Gym crew, like from it was Ferrigno and, and Arnold and uh, Robbie Robinson, and I'll, I'll put that picture up too. It was it was tremendous. It was great. And he was just doodling. You know, it was I, I was commenting to him. I was texting him, telling him how, what a great job he did on the thing, and he was like, ah, it took me two minutes. Like it was like no big deal to him. But everyone liked Rick. He was like a nice guy. He was a a good person. He loved bodybuilding. His passion was working out. I mean, maybe, maybe to, the, to his detriment because he lived that lifestyle his whole life. And unfortunately, he's passed. And we don't really know the exact cause of death yet, but he, uh, if you look on his Facebook, uh, he had been posting that he had been having some kidney problems and some heart problems. He was having trouble breathing. And he was trying, I think he was waiting for a second knee replacement as well. So something was going on. I don't, you know, it almost sounded like he had COVID, but I haven't heard that reported at all. I mean, the breathing problem, obviously, because he was, Rick took such good care of himself. I mean, the guy ate perfectly, he trained, you know, he took, you know, he slept, right? He, he just, he lived the, the lifestyle. So I, I can't imagine that, you know, all of a sudden out of nowhere, you know, he was just going to, you know, go downhill that quickly. So I have to imagine he, he, he had something going on, whether, I don't know if it was COVID or if it was another virus or... You know, his kidneys, I can't imagine the guy's kidneys and heart failing at the same time. That just sounds too suspicious to me um, to just all of a sudden, you know, his whole body just crap out on him like that. And, and, you know, once again, just super sad because, like I said, even though he was 76 years old, the guy was like so sharp. I wish I was as sharp as he was, you know, mentally, just right there on top of everything. He can interview anyone. You, you sit him down with anyone and he, and the funny thing is he, he knew everyone. You know, I think I, I know a lot of people because I've been around for a long time, but this guy knew everyone from back in the golden era. I mean, he can call up Stone Cold Steve Austin. He could call Arnold up on the phone and pretty much get anyone into his, you know, into his little studio there and interview him. Franco was in there before, Zane. So here's a guy, you know, who people respected and liked as well. And that just makes it that much worse when you hear someone like that passing. Um, it just, it seems like every week I'm reporting on someone else going and it's just, it, to me, it, it's, it's heartbreaking because, uh, you know, I don't know, I guess in life people pass, you know, and, and, but I, maybe during this whole COVID, you know, quarantine time, 
it, it, it just seems like there's like more people, you know, you know, leaving us too soon. And I guess we don't know what our, you know, we don't know if our days are numbered or not. We don't know how many days we got left. And that's why it's important that you live every day to its fullest. I went down my water slide today with my kids, you know, and uh, I really, you know, I, I, I really... I could smell the flowers. I really appreciated every minute that I spent with them because you know what? There's so many people who are leaving us, and uh, you know, who knows when you when your next breath is going to be. It was actually Rick was actually born on July 12th, the same day as my sister. That's how I always remembered his birthday, and he had just turned 76. And like I said, I even told him. I, I said to him, I said, Rick, you, you're unbelievable. You look you look like you're like in your 40s. I mean, the guy didn't have a wrinkle on his face because he lived a very clean lifestyle, and so. That's what makes this hard. It's a, a hardest pill to swallow, so to speak. And I'm I'm working through my own grief here as I'm doing this uh, report. But for those of you who don't know or didn't know Rick, um, he was a guy that you can bump into at a show, and he would be your best friend, like in 20 minutes of talking to him. That that's the kind of guy he was. Uh, he was just a likable guy, and and he loved to talk bodybuilding. You you would think you know what at 76 years old he'd be sick of talking bodybuilding already. He wasn't. He 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 knew every all the players. He knew all the people who competed. He knew all the, you know, the different diet styles and everything like that. And and he kept up on it because that was something that that you know really made him you know happy. So, I guess we should be celebrating Rick's life here, not really mourning it. Um, even though there's a lot of sadness out there that we've lost him way too soon. You know, Rich Piana's mom, uh, who I talked to on a regular basis, she's actually the one who told me she she was communicating on with him via text message on a regular basis, and it seemed like he was doing better and he was going to come home. But if you read some of the posts he had put on his Facebook, they, they seemed a little uh, like he was a little groggy or something like that, like he was a little out of it. So I have to believe that that you know he he did have something going on with him. And once the autopsy or whatever the official cause of death is released, we'll know a little bit more. But right now, this is all I know. I just want to report that a, a good man. A great bodybuilder, an actor, and more importantly, probably what I'd like him to be known as, a true artist, has been lost to this uh, world. Rick, I'll miss you, man. I'll miss our conversations. uh, But I know you're going to be up there watching over us and inspiring me with all your creative juices. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.